We're making butternut squash and roasted red pepper soup with bacon and sausage with Chris. I kind of make a cut into it and then carefully kind of follow, sort of skimming the inside of the skin, kind of unroll that whole seed package. You just want these things to get basically burnt. So yeah, we're gonna put those in a big Ziploc and let them steam in here for like 10-ish minutes. I often use the scissors to cut bacon. I Shortcut, guess, use I, the scissors. The professionals do not use scissors. Yeah, <laughs> why use two blades when you can use one? I, mean, <laughs> I do want the bacon to brown and cling a little bit to the pan. We want that flavor development. We'll just go for it. Back into the tablespoon or two of the bacon grease. And then we're gonna go in with our oh, aromatics. And now the skin will just really just pull right off. Okay. Let's add our garlic. <laughs> yeah. We're all about shortcuts here at Aiden Fooden. <laughs> also because we're trying to erase before Ash's baby wakes up. So <laughs> we actually got this uh, butternut squash started in the microwave. Give this a little season. Get some pepper at this stage. We're probably gonna need a couple quarts of this. So we're gonna add just a little bit of cinnamon, not very much, just a little bit of nutmeg. Oh, this smells so good. Nutmeg's really strong. And then smoked paprika, I do like that. So we're gonna put about, you know, that much. So we'll put our sausage back in. And the bacon we are going to save to garnish, cider and vinegar and some lemon. Uh, I think what a lot of home cooking misses is acidity. So it might be sweet enough, it might be salty enough, um, it might be savory, but it's that acidity. So a squeeze of lemon or a shot of vinegar or both at the end of a, a lot of different soups, especially a soup like this, like your, um, just can really elevate it. Are you salt? We had all the salt up. Cayenne? Yeah, do it. <laughs> you can't really undo <laughs> something like that. So. I'm gonna leave it a little bit more for the lemon. Kind of over my fingers. Congratulations, we just made soup. It's it's not a 30 minute recipe. It is so worth it though, this is so good. I'm gonna give a taste test to my husband.